the Leo and Danny show. Barney, I don't know who you are. I don't know yeah. what your comedic aspirations are, mm -hmm. but why in hell did you think it was a good idea to show up 50 minutes late to this podcast? The fuck's wrong with you, dude? Man, you know, I actually didn't realize Culver City was so far. I'm, Speaking I'm just... to the goddamn mic. Uh, I didn't realize Culver City was so far away, to be honest with you. I looked from... it up in Sherman Oaks, and... It was closer than I thought it was, so that's the reason I'm late. It was, it was further than you thought it was. It was further, exactly. And traffic was a bitch. Yeah. Okay, I'm not well, gonna lie. You gotta factor those things in, because this show ends at 7. We gotta shoot at 8 a.m. tomorrow. We can't stay up drinking Miller High Lives with you, so you blew your shot. The fuck is wrong with you, man? I just... Chug that goddamn beer. I'm a beer. piece of shit. I can't help it. <laughs> I mean, this isn't a job interview. That would be unprofessional and disappointing to your employer if you showed up late for that. This oh, is even shit. more important. Oh, shit. You want to be a comedian? You're going to have no bigger platform than this the show Leo and Danny in show. the next 10 years of your career. And let's face it, in 10 years, you're either going to have developed a nasty heroin addiction or killed yourself. So you're never going to have a bigger platform than this show. Probably heroin. I think so. <laughs> Based yeah. on your accent and your haircut. Hard exactly. Cock, you're Thank from you. Mississippi, correct? That's and your correct. state of origin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you love your mom, correct? That's correct. Yeah, she's one of my heroes. That makes two of us in this room. We love your mom. <laughs> right, well, I'm glad you love her, man. You, that means you're a smart man. Danny, there's a couple of things I want you to know about this guy. First of all, he's a good dancer. So I'm dance. It's pretty funny. But he has he two DUIs. Surprising. Well, he's going to get a third because he just drained a high life. And in 10 minutes, he's got to get back get in his fucking third. car and drive his ass home. This guy got so... Dude, you're definitely going to get a third DUI at some point. You almost got one the other night. Don't no, lie. No, no, no way, man. That's not going to happen. Because if that happens, it's a felony and it's just six months. <laughs> so I'm either going to I'm either gonna have to, you know... Fl flee the state? Flee. Yeah. No. So what's your strategy for avoiding future DUIs? Um, probably not drink as much. Mm -hmm. um, as much. Uh, what was that? That probably wasn't the right thing to say, right? Uh, yeah. Probably not drink, or maybe get an Uber. Okay. I, I live closer to bars now. Like I moved to this new spot, so okay. now. So you just drive a mile or two home, shit faced. Or Uber. Instead Uber. Of eight. No, man. If it's like a mile or two, Uber for sure. You know? Every time. Fucking Hearthcock, dude. Um, well, COVID, you know, everything started to open it up, so it, I haven't quite gotten to the flow of it, but it's gonna happen. Okay. okay. Were you ever bullied? Um. <laughs> is that a real question, Leo? He's sitting before you in a Barney suit. <laughs> you talking like, like the most inbred pig fucker I've ever heard. Is this, is this irony or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be, uh, okay, well then explain this love for Barney a little bit. Like, what the fuck? What, what is it about Barney that you like so much? Definitely Barney, yeah, man. I actually grew up watching Barney. That was my, this is my boy right here. Yeah. All right. I grew up playing with Tonka trucks. I don't do that anymore, though, do I now? Damn. You're man. supposed to shed your old childhood habits, idiot. Did you ever work in construction? What does that mean? You work here at Tonka Trucks. Oh, is you, the fuck? Is that some kind of a joke? Are you trying to joke never with me mind. right now on never my podcast? He's trying to joke Just never mind. Listen, Barney. He's trying to joke it. with me. If you crack one more joke. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. I'm going to get to that bat over there, <laughs> and I'm going to cave your head in. i got a hard head, to be honest with you. Not not like I want to try it out or nothing. I'm just hard-headed. What are the chances that uh, you let a man enter you from behind that fucking suit? It would be probably zero. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Yeah. Depending on how many Miller High Lifes he'd had. <laughs> that Barney's got a big mouth, dude. I'm That'd not going to fuck lie. his mouth. Would yeah. you be pissed off if I fucked Barney's mouth right now? <laughs> Leo, you want to do it? <laughs> dude, That'd be the most sexually liberating thing Leo's ever done. I don't think Barney would enjoy it, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to fuck Barney's mouth, dude. Leo, you should rub your dick on the Barney head. Can you please do that for me? <laughs> I, dude, uh... Can Dino, can we make Dino do it? Le Dino... To make up for stealing my North Face, drop your penis into Barney's Dino, mouth. Dino, you can do it, man. His name's Dino, for fuck's sake. Drop it in. That's half a right. dinosaur. Exactly. Drop your dick into Barney's mouth. This is classic. <laughs> you, I mean, if you'd like. It's okay, man. I mean... All right, does Barney have consent? He, he's down. Close, hey, can we close? Hey, do this? How about this? I think this will be a nice visual. Yeah. Can you give Barney a Roman soldier? That's where you put your limp penis between his eyes and let it dangle. <laughs> like those furry things they had ornamentally on top of their helmets. <laughs> no. Hearthcock, you didn't think this was going to happen on the pod, huh? Dude, uh, I got a funny conversation we had with Hearthcock because we were talking about it. me and Ali and him. We were talking. I was like, oh, I got to get this guy on the fucking pod. He's classic. And then uh, Ali's like, be prepared to take your penis out. And then Hearthcock was like, we, we, they, you do that? Dino, answer that question physically. Am there you I go. Prepared to take my penis out? I don't have a mic. It doesn't matter. Um, I said take your penis yeah, out, not tell a joke. Take your penis out now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is an impressive dangler. I'm not looking. You've already seen it, Austin. It's on the Barney. There you go. Oh, dude. 
<laughs> Man, that's new definition of balls in the forehead. <laughs> that's what you get for showing up late to my show. Well, it won't happen next time because now I know how far you it you is. Said that I, I could be back, right? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put on a fucking banana hammock next time hell yeah man no, you, you, gotta, you gotta be another barney character i want you to be the fucking girl dinosaur daisy <laughs> yeah the triceratops <laughs> this bitch was 150 so oh, uh if shit. anybody would throw in money man hell yeah I'll, Let, I'll let's get to the cash. bottom of why you like barney were you raped by a babysitter during an episode <laughs> of the show once uh no no <laughs> um unfortunately that didn't happen but um so i actually love barney because he believes in imagination you know because that's very important right mm-hmm. this is what all this is mm-hmm. and uh and caring for one another that's beautiful and i know that's gay but mm-hmm. i think it's cool it's i very, think it's cool i think it's very sweet and it's not gay to care about one another and uh yeah i care about everybody in this room it can be gay and cool it can be gay and cool too yeah and well of course uh, yeah definitely just, yeah, and if something's gay, it's not always that uncool. You know what I mean? And that's not what I was really leaning at. But, Are you gay? Um, you, uh, no, sir. I'm I'm not. Okay. It, mm-hmm. I've been asked that a lot in the Mississippi, and it's always been a no. Why, dude? Those fucking southern fucks? They uh, fuck with you, didn't I, they? I get asked here, too, now. Some bull- So who bullied you, dude? I... It was my father. And this is what I think happened. <laughs> I, I, I think his dad, yeah. I think his dad was a handyman. For sure. In Mississippi. I think he would drive around in a 1947 rusted Ford truck. Mm-hmm. He would just drive down dirt roads like, hey, you need your fence repaired? Right. And when horse cock was a baby yeah his dad had cared so little for him he had just put him in the bed of the truck when mm-hmm. he went to work oh god i think one day on a particularly bumpy unpaved oh, road oh no horse cock's dad hit a pothole horse cock went oh, flying and hit his head shit, dude. jackson mississippi has bad potholes really so that, very bad so yeah. it it fucking your dad would put you back there sometimes he'd put you in the cage where the mm-hmm. dog would go but when the dog was in the cage, you would fucking have to be on the fucking. My the bird truck. dogs take priority over my dang son. Dang. <laughs> the best goddamn bird yeah, dogs. Yeah, damn it. Could you call your father right now on the pod and and, and uh, hey, maybe uh, we gotta get a co- we gotta get a fucking camera on Austin. He's crying. <laughs> what happened? Did you inhale the MGD down the wrong hole? <laughs> Yeah, the beer went in my lungs and then out my nose. He's the really struggling is, over there. Complete lightweights in alcohol. <laughs> like, they can smoke themselves to fucking half retarded, but <laughs> nothing really happens. But one beer, and these fuckers are drunk as shit. One beer is yeah. like a twelfth of what I weigh. I need so. to go put yeah. a padlock on my closet or more clothing is going to go yeah. missing tonight. Good old hearthcock. Listen, um, we got to get to the bottom of who bullied you and what they did and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you think you want to call your father right now and maybe... Uh, no. Sorry, I know that's that's bad. And your to mom, say you no. definitely won't call your mom. Uh, n- that'd be a negative as well. Yeah. You want let's me not, to call her? I got a good relationship with. Let's, let's try not <laughs> to get my family all in, in touch with this. Don't tell them about this podcast, probably. Huh? Yeah, man. All yeah. right, horse cock. <laughs> I, we got a wrap, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, it's all right. I told him about. I, I told him about the last thing that 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 video we did, Leo. Though, nice. Okay? They loved it. Nice. They Great. did. They, they were like. It. They did. They did rock on. Really? Yeah, man. They liked when you smashed those beers and the fucking in your all house. of it. All seven Hell minutes. Oh yeah, dude. A horse cock. Yeah. How long have you been trying to be a comedian? Um, doing stand up. Yeah. I uh, well, COVID happened, so honestly, it's been about maybe a year. All right. So you're he's a he's a youthful comedian still. Mm-hmm. He needs to. But I love it. Grow. I do it every weekend. Mm-hmm. I fucking work, man. It takes all the imagination out. Where do you work? <clears throat> uh, dude, I'm a loan officer, man, and I huh? and I help people with mortgages and stuff. Very nice. Oh, got I my license during the COVID. I can't imagine you're competent. What advice would you give me if I were trying to buy a house right now? Um, I would say uh, save up. Definitely try to save up a pretty penny because the prices of houses out here are hefty. How much should I put down if I want a million dollar house? Uh, I would probably. Uh, you probably need sixty thousand. That's it. Yeah. For that, a, that's going to be for a, maybe a three or five percent down payment. Depends on. What but then, will my monthly payments be ginormous? It depends on what you're, what you qualify for. You know, I had to get your credit score and then look mm-hmm. at all your income. What is your credit score? Eight fifty, baby. Or really? It's something in the eight. It's, it's good. It's in the eight. It's white people How did you credit. Get that? White people credit. You need more than one credit card to do that. Because I, I mine's seven forty, and I just I've always had one credit card. Well, I need like two or. Three. I don't think I have a credit score. <laughs> yeah, do you have a credit card? Come on, man, you're no. white. You do have one. If you don't have a credit card, then yeah, no. Waiters to repeat my basic joke. Back he to sent Austin me a checklist. Your I'm idea. Gonna, uh, he sent me a checklist. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can get approved for. Yeah, before. I was trying to quiz him and find some hole in his knowledge about mortgages, but, but I know sh- I don't know yeah, anything. I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I think Tim no. Dillon could get me though. Tim Dillon yeah. knows some shit. Fake business, baby. 
maybe. Mm-hmm. What a what a uh, have you? What's the the big biggest loan you've given out? Um, well, I would love to lie. I really would to impress y'all. Um, but no, I actually haven't really got a loan yet. I really just got my license. God damn it! So, you just, uh, do you is a salary position? Right now, it is an hourly position. All right. He's new and sucking at two things, Leo. Correct. He's, Actually, doing, he's doing exactly what we said earlier, whereas <laughs> you just give the highlights of your career. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he's pulling it. in Austin. He's, he's absolutely... Doing the, uh, the, the I'm a badass, though. Uh, yeah, baby. I, dude, Hearthcock can dance, dude, and that's that's the, the mm-hmm. one thing that he's got going for him. This guy, this is Hearthcock at a bar. Yeah, baby. I'm a famous stand-up comedian. I'm a loan <laughs> officer. My family owns cotton plantations in Mississippi. I'm actually royalty in that state. I could take you back. We could tour with my hounds during the October seasons. Yep. You'll see the moon rising over the hills, and it'll take your breath away. Oh, Damn! Would, dude, would you look at that? What would your mo- mother One say? If, what would your mom and dad say if Thanksgiving came around and you brought a six foot tall Zimbabwean African girl straight up fucking from the jungle? We're of talking Zimbabwe. with the plates in her lips. Exactly. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> plates and all, Danny. Plates and all. See, the you just take my bl- joke and repeat them back. I'm gonna punch you in the chest, Barney. I want a question. I ha- there's a question. <laughs> you see what he just did there? <laughs> Why are you doing lame. that, dude? dude. Because Don't steal his jokes ever. <laughs> you fucking Carlos apologize. Mencia's on the couch yeah, over there right the now. Fuck. Apologizing, uh, stealing my so, jokes. I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, I so what would, what would happen? Cool. What would happen? You uh, walk in, you got your arm on her ass, dude, and yeah. she's wearing literally a loincloth. Like, literally, her ass is out, dude. Bear. It's out. She's got her titties are out. Mm-hmm. She's got piercings. She raised that. She's way. got a right. newborn baby sucking on her teeth. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's mine. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's just no, a boy. No, it's, a huge oh, okay. it's, it's darker than it's darker than shit, dude. It's so okay. it's not yours. So it's not mine. No, okay. No. Unfortunately, I got a little black in me now, just like yeah. the jerk. You could dance. So I don't. I don't say that you. I think you might have some black in you. But listen. So, thank you. What happens? What do your parents do? Uh, my parents, what they do as jobs. If you have no, if you brought okay. the black girl home with the plates, but dude, I'm telling you right now. What in the Sam hell is that? In my kitchen <laughs> says yeah, his dad. Damn it. Yeah, my uh, my dad would probably be very very uh, happy to see that I actually found someone. Honestly, oh. uh, but I know yeah. y'all would love to hear my dad to be really upset and wanted to. Damn, I did out to your her. parents. You haven't had sex in two years. Yeah. If they watch the video, they know that you haven't had sex in a couple of years. Yeah, yeah really man. Wanted your parents to. I be got racist. you, bro. We're we're gonna get you laid. Dude. I, mean, Don't I worry. appreciate that, man. Uh, Thank it's, you. It's gonna be tough. You're gonna have to go home and burn that Barney costume. That's the first step to getting laid, <sighs> dude. You know this is actually gonna be a skit that I'm gonna start doing. It's gonna be Blarney, and I'm gonna try to be like two people, and it, this is gonna be Blarney, man. Blarney okay. and Blake. If you do that, Blarney I'm gonna stab a screwdriver through my eyeballs. Jesus. That'll be more pleasurable Christ. than watching the sketch you make sure to do that on the podcast now maybe <laughs> might as well maximize the ratings from it 